All right, well, here's a fun question. The statement is, an electron is released from rest and falls under the influence of gravity. In the first centimeter, what fraction of the potential energy lost is radiated away? Okay, what we need to know is the power radiated. Looks familiar. U naught over 6 pi C, uh, P double dot at T naught squared. All right. So the dipole moment, P is equal to QD. Okay, well, again, Q, we were given as an electron, so we have negative E. And it falls some distance Y. So uh, we have that falling in the Y hat. Here, though, Y is related to the kinematics of gravity. So that's 1 half GT squared. So if we want the dipole moment, we have to plug that in. So we have negative E is equal to 1 half GT squared Y hat. So clearly the double derivative of this, uh, that T derivative goes from T squared to T. So the 1 half and 2 cancel from the power rule. Then we take another derivative and we're left with P dot is equal to negative E G Y hat. So if we want the power radiated, we need to square this, uh, um, the P double dot, which gives us mu naught E squared G squared over 6 pi C. Okay. So that's the power radiated. Now, the time it takes to fall the distance h is given by h is equal to 1 half gt squared. That's just our kinematic relation. So our time, if we solve this for t, multiply by 2, divide by g, take the square root, gives us 2h over g with the square root. So the energy radiated by falling a distance h is u radiated is equal to p radiated times time. So we have p radiated from before times the time, which gives us 2h over g. Again, you can read that pretty quickly. Um, now, meanwhile, the energy lost is the U potential, which, again, conservation says is MGH. Um, so we have to take the fraction of the radiated energy and the potential energy. Uh, other textbooks or papers use W instead of U. Um, so, again, power is related to energy by time. That's really what comes down from the definition. Uh, and then potential is just MGH. So let's see what we can do. A factor of G cancels. A factor of H uh, will cancel here soon. Uh, I highlighted them in red because we're trying to push them into the square root. Okay? So with that G canceling with the denominator, what we see here is that in order to put in a square root, we need to square both of them. So we get G squared over H squared when we put them into the square root. And now we see that the factors of H and G that we found from the time perspective or with the time is now flipped. So we see that the uh, ratio is now mu naught E squared over 6 pi MC square root of 2G over H. Now it's just up to us to plug everything in. We know mu naught's a constant. We know the charge on the electron's constant, 6 pi, you know, the mass of the electron, the speed of light. We were told that uh, we fell one centimeter, so that's the 0 0.01 in the denominator of the square root. Gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. Push that through, and we get something hilariously tiny. 2.76 times 10 to the negative 22. That is pretty small in my opinion, and I think everyone else. Um, so what we would say to this is that evidently, almost all the energy goes into the kinetic form, which is what we assume by saying that uh, y was equal to 1 half gt squared. It's moving, so we're good to go there.